again this week. I remember having a conversation with a friend many years ago. Um, she just didn't get the Psalms. She didn't find them helpful. Uh, for her, they were not part of scripture that she would readily turn to for help or guidance. I remember being quite surprised because I think from a fairly early age, I found in the Psalms uh, comfort and help for whatever season of life I've been going through. For me, the Psalms have been quite prominent in my journey of faith, helpful and significant for me. In fact, I remember looking at a Bible I'd used quite a lot and uh, the edge of the Bible, I could see darker and light, light, lighter parts. The darker parts were obviously the, the bits that I'd spent most of my time in, presumably made darker by my fingers touching the edges of the paper. When I realised this, of course, it meant I could quite quickly flick straight to the book of Psalms, because the Psalms were there in darker colour, um, as well as the Gospels. How about you? Have you found the book of Psalms helpful in your journey? Do you have a favourite psalm, a psalm you always turn to in difficult times? Well, this week we're going to spend time in the first five psalms. We're going to read Psalm 1 to start with. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Or stand in the way that sinners take. Or sit in the company of mockers. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord. And who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water. Which yields its fruit in season. And whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked leads to destruction. This psalm, the opening one of this amazing book, starts with a statement about human existence. Blessed is the one. Older versions would use the more familiar, blessed is the man. This first psalm is there to invite us into this book so that we can discover that this whole collection of psalms is a guide to a blessed life, to the well-lived life, to a life that flourishes and is fruitful. So the starting question for us is, who or what is influencing how you live your life? Who are you walking in step with? Are you being influenced and shaped by the Lord or by those in the world around you who live with no reference to his ways? There's a simple choice, according to this psalm, Depend, depending on who you are being influenced by. You can either be like a, a fruitful tree flourishing in well-watered place or like useless chaff that is just blown away. To be blessed, the psalmist says, we need to delight in the law of the Lord. We need to meditate on it day and night. For the psalmist, the words of the Lord in scripture are something we should find great blessing in and great joy in. We should regularly spend time and energy reflecting on them, seeking to understand them, finding ways to apply them to the life we lead. This scripture is the way for human beings to learn the way and the will of the Lord and to allow that learning to shape the way we live, to shape the way we respond to life, to help us discern what we should value in life. This is why it should be delightful. In Psalm 119, we read, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. How amazing that the Lord has given us his word, his guidance, to help us become all that he longs for us to become in this life and beyond. Now, there is a danger that we make scripture into some kind of idol, that we become worshippers of the word, the psalmist isn't calling for that. Knowledge and the study of scripture is not to make us self-righteous. It is to reveal to us the Lord and his desires and directions for our life. So the beginning of this week, a good question for us to ask is, 
who or what influences or shapes us. Now we are bombarded with influences in this day and age. TV, social media, newspapers, magazines, friends, family were surrounded by a, a cynical world, a self-centered world, a world that would tell us to look after ourselves first, worldviews that seep into our consciousness and just lead us away from the living streams of water. Psalm 1 tells us that there are two ways for our life's journey, a righteous way and a wicked way. Fulfillment of a fruitful life or the pursuit of things that will just one day be blown away and shown as worthless. So let us be a tree planted by streams of water, yielding fruit, prospering, walking in step with God. May we delight in his word, discover a fresh and revitalised relationship with Father, Son and Spirit this season. May God bless us as we do this together. Amen. No one stands in the way of sinners, no one sits in the sea of scoffers, but his delight is in the Lord, Lord, Lord. The wicked are not Yeah. Mm-hmm.